Namaste, I'm Chevline Vaz. And I'm Andy Harwood. And we are the Vaz Harwood team in the Twin Cities in Minnesota. And we're so excited to show you and introduce you to the West 7th neighborhood in St. Paul. It's an amazing historic neighborhood. Let's go check it out. We're here on the Schmitz Brewery rooftop. It's actually not a brewery anymore. This building a few years ago was converted into artist loft. So now there's, I think, a few hundred artists who have residents here and practice their art. They redid it beautifully and preserved the history of the building. This is really like the landmark of the neighborhood. You can see it from everywhere in this vicinity. And this street here is West 7th uh, Street itself. Historically, a fur trading route. It connects downtown St. Paul with Fort Snelling and this dates back to I think about the 1830s. Now it's just a bustling place full of amazing restaurants and little shops and of course art galleries like our friend Heather which we'll see uh, and meet in just a few minutes. But I wanted to show you the view from up here and just give you a feel for the neighborhood and this amazing landmark, the Schmidt Brewery. This is the West 7th neighborhood. It is such a cool historic neighborhood. We're gonna show you around a little bit and introduce you to a friend of ours who owns an art gallery here. Let's check it out. Hi, Heather, Hello. Andy, and Sherline. Hey. Welcome to the gallery. I am so excited to introduce my best friend to you. This is Heather Fridley. She is Minnesota's very own indigenous artist and gallery owner. You own the Fridley Gallery right here in the West 7th. So tell me what inspires you. Well, as you can see, a lot of my works uh, are different landscapes of the places I've been. And what inspires me is uh, my family's heritage in this land as well as my travels throughout Minnesota and the United States. And I love to look at the landscapes and travel within them and really just immerse myself in that land. Whenever I look at your work, it reminds me of stained glass. How would you describe your style and technique? Well, I work in a contemporary impressionistic style. I like to lay down lots of thick layers of paint with lots of vibrant colors of what I feel and see out there in the landscape. Talk to us about your latest commissioned project, which is, which is so magnificent. Well, I had the honor of uh, being chosen to create a commission piece to be in the lobby of the Health Partners Cancer Center in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. And it was a beautiful piece showing the Minnehaha Creek. And so that way we could bring the love and beauty of that creek to the inside of people waiting for their cancer treatments and bring that beauty and hope to them. Restoration of the ecosystem, the environment are very dear topics to you because I see yes. it in all your works. Absolutely. So why did you choose the West 7th neighborhood to start your gallery. Well, I really love the arts and culture here in the West 7th neighborhood. There's so many great shops and different places to visit, such as the Kagan Case Market, which has food from all over Minnesota. We have the Schmidt Artist Loss. We also have this beautiful area down here, which has a bunch of vintage shops. Cool. And I love vintage. I know, me too. <laughs> I know you do, Cheryl. Oh my gosh, that's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us on our tour of the West 7th neighborhood. We hope you will drop in, check out the stores, check out the restaurants, and don't forget to say hi to Heather. And check us out next time on the next episode of The American Dream that we'll be hosting.